Welcome to the Weekly Dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to talk about the idea of the laws of Shabbos Kodesh. About keeping the laws. What does it exactly mean? Why does it have to be so stringent? Why does everything have to be dictated down to the minute detail? I've been asked that so many times and today I want to discuss that a little bit. It happens that on Shabbos we are so close to Hashem and that is why there are so many more restrictions. The punishment for violating them is so much more severe because we are so close to Hashem. And yet for those of us, Be'ezrat Hashem, everyone who keeps all the laws of Shabbos Kodesh properly, the blessings of Shabbat are boundless. There is no end to the bracha and the simcha that comes down to every single one who keeps Shabbat Kodesh. When it comes to Shabbat, the Shla Kadosh teaches us that we have to be so strict even in the cases that maybe we're sort of doubtful and things are even highly improbable, we should still keep to the, to the strict order of the law. Because the punishment for desecration of Shabbat is so severe, we should treat questions that arise with the most utmost stringency. Because Shabbat is the source of Amuna. Shabbat is the cornerstone of the Torah. It's the crowning glory of the six work days. That's why we have to be extremely, extremely careful that everything that we do on Shabbat is inspired by a desire to want to come close to Hashem and to do the right thing. Rav Abba says, happy are the Jews because Hashem favors us. He chooses us and he chooses no other nation as his holy people. He gave us Shabbat. It's the holiest day than any other day. It's a day of rest. It's a day of gladness. It's equal to the entire Torah. And that's why when a Jew observes Shabbat, it's considered as though he fulfilled the entire Torah, all of the mitzvot of the Torah in, in their entirety. That's what the Zohar Kadosh teaches us. And a person, as written in the Torah as well, a beautiful pirush, is that one a person who does tshuva, he cannot enter into what's called the Nun Sharei Kedusha, the 50 gates of Kedusha, until 400 consecutive days have gone by without that person, the Baal Tshuva, have, has gone by without committing even the slightest transgression. That seems like a very impossible task. But because Shabbat encompasses the entire Torah, keeping Shabbat properly is equivalent to living 400 days without sinning. Meaning that when the Baal Tshuva observes Shabbat, he can earn and gain the ad- immediate admittance. He can go straight into the 50 gates of Kedusha without having to worry about anything else. Shabbat Kodesh has two parts to it. One part says Shabbat for Hashem. That's the spiritual component. That's where we attach ourselves to Hashem through through tefillah, through Torah, through singing zemiros, through shibuchim v'hilulim v'tishbachot la'Hashem itbarach. All the words of praises that we say to Hashem. But then there's the other component, and that component is called Shabbat for you. Shabbat for you is the physical co- component. It emphasizes the fact that we eat on Shabbat Kodesh, we rest on Shabbat Kodesh, and we have to fulfill both aspects of Shabbat in order to receive our reward. So we see here how important it is that both components are indivisible. We can't have one without the other. We need both of them. In fact, both of them are, are part of fulfilling the mitzvah of keeping Shabbat. We need to eat and drink and relax, but we also need to remember that there's a spiritual aspect, and that's attaching ourselves to Hashem on the spiritual end. And so, Be'ezrat Hashem, let's take upon ourselves to observe Shabbat Lekotcho, 
in all its intricate details to observe every single one of them with the intention of understanding that because it's such an intimate rendezvous that we have with Hashem Ibach on Shabbat Kodesh, that's why every little thing counts. Every little thing matters. And Be'ezrat Hashem, we should take this and heed the message and observe Shabbat Kodesh with such simha even down to the minute details. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbat.